Uhuru lost elections in August. He has again lost this sham one in which he was basically running against himself. Kenyans everywhere have overwhelmingly made a loud statement against Jubilee's electoral fuss. We are profoundly concerned at state profiling of a part of our country with sinister violent motives that could lead to a massacre of innocent people. We are concerned that the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission yesterday, 26th of October, postponed the Jubilee enforced repeat presidential election in the four Nyanza counties of Migori, Homa Bay, Siaya, and Kisumu to tomorrow, the 28th of October, 2017. The commission cited insecurity as the reason for postponement, saying it would conduct the election after security has been beefed up. This is a wicked attempt at ethnic profiling of the Luo people. Beefing up security here is a euphemism for state preparation to unleash even more lethal force and state violence into these counties than has been witnessed in recent times. We are deeply concerned that Jubilee has now militarized elections. Conducting elections is now being used as an excuse and platform to commit genocide. This is well in line with this government's agenda against the people of these four counties. Following the Supreme Court's invalidation of the presidential election on September 1st, the state, through the Ministry of Interior and the National Police Service, has systematically profiled Luo Nyanza as an intransigent zone for the purpose of genocidal pogroms. It has gone on to subject the residents to state violence and terror in which precious lives have been lost. Under the pretext of quelling violence, the police, together with militias in police uniform, have brutalized the residents of the four counties. They have killed children, the aged and other innocent people who are not even involved in the peaceful demonstrations against the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. In places like Migori and Bungoma, an official state of emergency appears to have been declared. We note with keen concern that armed and uniformed state agents are now breaking into homes and houses and flushing out innocent people for torture. People are not allowed to walk in formations of more than two persons. We are asking IBC to call off the forced polls. The motive is clearly wicked and evil, and the entire process a sham. Beyond this, we are concerned that this state-sponsored violence is now spreading to engulf parts of West Kenya and Nairobi. We are perturbed about the mayhem in Bungoma today and the loss of life there earlier. Elsewhere, Regan Omondi Utieno was killed in Karyadudi estate in Babadogo, Nairobi. Paul Omina, Omina was shot dead in Madare North and Joseph Onyango in Busia town. He is currently undergoing treatment. 19-year-old Jojo Diambo was shot dead in Kondele in Kisumu. Whichever way you look at it, this government is unhappy that the people have rejected it. It has elected to fight back through violence, death, and mayhem. The so-called fresh elections in Luonyanza is only an excuse to massacre unarmed citizens. It is also instructive that this zone is largely a Seventh-day Adventist church region. We caution state agents against disrupting Christian worship through a meaningless election exercise and even worse violence. In the event that IBC refuses to listen to wisdom and instead goes on with these meaningless forced polls, we advise the people not to walk into this trap of death. We call on the residents of these counties to stay away from the planned polls. End of statement. Any if there are any, any questions? questions? My name is Ken Mujibu. I work with the NTP. Uh, 
your statement reads like you are accusing the IPC of supporting the state in uh, pushing for this agenda that you were saying, the genocide agenda. Are you accusing the IPC of supporting the state in this? They are working hand in hand. Um, people did not want to participate in the election. The same IBC kept on telling people that if people don't want to vote, it is their constitutional right. And if people want to vote, they also are exercising their constitutional right. So the people of these counties have already shown in their first attempt that they do not want to vote. So why are they forcing it on them? And they are saying they want to have security beefed up so that they can force this election on them. Any other question? I can tell you that those are Kenyan citizens who are expressing their disapproval of what IBC is doing. And all along, IBC has operated as if Kenyans don't exist. So the Kenyans have been expressing to them that we don't want to participate on the vote. Don't force it on us. That's all. Actually, it's not our duty to help the IBC, because the IBC knows very well that they have proceeded with an unconstitutional process. So we are not going to sanitize what they have done, and they should stop intimidating people, because they are the ones who know very well that they